Greetings, unsettled souls. Sam I be the Ganji with the correct views. A member of the media speaks. Bringing you the much waited for massive Fukushima update. Well, you might notice around me here, as I try to get the dumb D music shut off, is yellowy, ugly haze. You know what that's from? As I wait for people to tune in. This screen here keeps changing the color of the room. Do you know why that is? Because this is being filmed on an iPhone 4. Because I don't own a really nice camera. I'm not going live today because my computer keeps overheating. And I'm asking for a favor since most of you tune in to the Massa Fukushima update. Before we get started with everything you're going to get to, you guys know the show by now. I'm going to have to lead with it, friends. Please donate to the show if you can. <clears throat> the correct views at hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. And I'm not going to go on forever about it, but it's important enough that I'm asking. Go through my videos. There's over 700 of them. Every month you get a massive Fukushima update. There's nuclear updates all the time. And then I do a lot of other news as well. So look into it, and if you feel that I have been a, uh, a service to you, uh, please donate. And that goes for our behind-the-scenes queen. Well, I guess she's not anymore, Christelle, but she's never here. All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Again, thank you for helping me. The media can no longer hide the truth about Fukushima. The entire world is in danger. This is from uh, the uh, Anti-News Network. The media can no longer... I'm not going to hate when they do that. It's also, it's a natural news article, I guess. It's posted on uh, Anti-News Network. We first want to thank Fox News for finally reporting on the subject that has been highly censored by the uh, mainstream media for the last five plus years. The situation, of course, in Fukushima. While Fox News recently reported that radiation levels at the plant are now at unimaginable levels more than five years after the disastrous quake and tsunami, Steve Quayle asked an SQN note has left while thinking that story why the mainstream media has been silent all this time. Uh, and again, it goes on to talk about how they've been telling us that we're safe, even though we're seeing the biggest die-off in the Pacific Ocean ever. And that matters because what we are finding is infecting you. It's, it's bringing toxins and radioactivity into your body. And if you don't know by now, then you obviously haven't listened to this show before. If you don't know, those will give you cancer, heart disease, you'll get sick all the damn time is basically what it amounts to. Um, in recent uh, stories on e, e News, we've covered some of this. The February 5th, they reported the heartbreaking news that a recordly high, record, rec, uh, recordly, a record high number of whale deaths have recently been reported surrounding the Hawaiian Islands with the sick and starving animals allegedly a mystery to experts. Now check this out. Before the meltdown, what did they do? They released data based on the fallout that they have studied, whether it was the bombing of Japan or whether it was uh, just through routine releases that come from nuclear power plants. It's well documented. There have been cases, I think it was in Brazil, where some people had stolen a, an x-ray machine and then had deadly cesium within it. They had to bury the girl in a lead-lined coffin. It was so bad. People were blocking the graveyard, not wanting her to be there for fear that her radiated body would leach into the water supply somehow. That's how important this is. And yet we've got four reactors, all of them in meltdown, some of them in melt-through, which is where uh, quite likely the corium, the melted radioactive fuel that's as radioactive as parts of the sun, could be bleeding into the, the water that we all drink through you know, rain disbursement and uh, melt outs, which is where the core actually blows out of the containment vessel and spews all over. It's the black goo that we've talked about here that you see in Tokyo. And now that they're trying to hide something, isn't it amazing? Now... Oh, it's fine. There's nothing to see here. We don't know what's calling, causing these deformities and these die-offs. It must be global warming. We can see the animals dying because the planet is warming. 
planet's not warming. One of the things that are happening, though, that's causing a die-off, the main thing, is Fukushima! And they know this. They know this. You, you, they know this from studying Belarus after Chernobyl. You can look this up. You don't have to take my word for it. As Adam says in the video, the, the sustainability of all life throughout the Northern Hemisphere is in danger. And the entire mainstream media up until now has been a complete blackout mode, except for this recent reporting. Uh, do CNN, NBC, MSNBC, and the rest of them think that they don't report upon Fukushima? What's happening to the fish in our oceans is fake news? Do they think that because we can't actually see radiation, that it's not really there? I, pause. A lot of people do that. They'll tell me that, oh, I feel fine. Every moment that you breathe, breathe these into your lungs, they never leave your body. They stay there radiating. It's what's called a becquerel. It's a tiny micro microscopic explosion that goes off in the body, can trigger other cells, and other cells mutate badly, die badly, and they form cancer. That's your quick update. And one becquerel is one reaction per second. We know that we're breathing them in. How? Because you can test them in car filters. And you'll find hot particles that can only come from a nuclear reactor. These are man-made particles. So we know where they're coming from. And it's Fukushima. We saw this same thing back in the days of bomb testing. And if you don't think it's deadly, then look up what killed John Wayne and the entire cast and the entire crew. You probably won't like very much what you find. For the past several years, we've reported on the horror. Well, so have we here, so we'll skip that part. But uh, let's look at this. Fox News' Adam Halsley uh, reported in 2011 following the meltdown, and then he hasn't really touched the subject much since. But imagine this. Check this out. Could the radiation level be even higher? Possibly. The 530 sievert reading was recorded some distance from the fuel. So in reality, it could be ten times higher than recorded said Hideyuki Ban, it's co-director of the Citizens Nuclear Information Center, and they're talking about the monstrously high levels that have been found at Fukushima. And uh, the article writes, Imagine that. Ten times higher than already detected. Is this why the mainstream media is finally reporting on Fukushima? As the computer on the Washington Post story wisely mentions, we're watching a runaway train speeding completely out of control, and experts have admitted that there's no way to stop it. At least not for the next several decades. Yeah, it's going to take 30 or 40 years. Now keep in mind, this thing is, is blowing in the wind. And they can't really get the building structurally sound. Because they can't get gear into the reactor building because there's too much debris. The debris is too radioactive to move. And it's so radioactive that even machines cannot get close to it. Robots, as we've covered here many times, it's also covered on Teddy Stick and the Conservative Daily Post, where I work. They, they can't even get near it because the, ra the radioactivity shuts down the machines. So they can't make the building structurally sound because they're going to knock it over. And if they knock it over, since the fuel pools are raised, for those of you that don't know, it's where most of the radioactivity is housed in water, if that should fall, it could be an extinction event for the Northern Hemisphere. And yet they're hoping that this stands for the next 30 to 40 years. So are you understanding why this is such a big deal yet? <sighs> Recording this forever lied about Fukushima tonnage released daily, the problem is twofold. One, only a small yet growing number of dumbed-down Facebook and Twitter-absorbed McDonald's food gorging people are even aware, yes, after five years of how serious this is, is because the mainstream media doesn't breathe a word about it. And two, the second issue is rampant apathy, resignation, and denial. It goes on to say, I sent a, the bleak, depressing coast of Chile sardine kill photos to friends everywhere, and not one. And we are talking about people your age and mine, about 65, he writes, older than me, thank you, highly successful and intelligent, wrote me back with perhaps a query as to whether it must be radiation from Fukushima, or if it might hopefully be El Nino Red Bloom choking off oxygen. Isn't that funny how Red Blooms now have only done this to this degree after Fukushima? If you believe that, you're an idiot. It says in a new story from Ethan Huff over the Outbreak News, 
uh, at Health Outbreak News, excuse me, he reports that according to one liberal college professor, the world would be much better off with 90% of the population dead. So, I mean, again, the wondering here if maybe this isn't something that is being ignored on purpose. A lot of people say it was done on purpose, but that would be rather difficult. But could they be exploiting this for that reason? I, there's a reason that they're not telling us. We have to do all this research to find it ourselves. There's a reason you're listening to me speak now, ten minutes into this. And we have a long way to go, friends. Um, there's a reason, because it matters. And we know that it's not going to be reported to us. It's not going to be told to us. We are going to have to find it ourselves, friends. Uh, News National Geographic here. First look inside Fukushima reactor revealed a small robot is the first to show the underwater ruins of one of the world's worst nuclear power plant disaster. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this because we've covered a lot of the robot stories before. However, this one did a little bit better than some of the other instances that we have seen of it. So we're going to go ahead and go with this story because it matters. More viewers coming in. A robot sent to explore the submerged ruins, hello Mike, of Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant is offering a new look at the damage from one of history's worst nuclear disasters. The device, nicknamed Little Sunfish, found melted clumps of material that could be fuel debris and it was sent to locate according to updates on Friday. After an earthquake struck near Japan, we all know, of course, the horrible damage I've been talking about. Six years later, the homes remain deserted, but underwater robots could be the key to decontaminating the area and making it habitable again. No, it cannot. No robot can take this out of here. This will be a problem. Look up the half-life of plutonium and uranium. You'll find we're talking millions of years. First of all, ever since the bomb testings before the Second World War ended, we, our DNA has been changed. Forever. It's one of the reasons we're seeing cancer go through there. If you know cancer used to be very rare, now it's as common as uh, grass. That's not normal. Well, you can look into what, what, what we're seeing here. You can see it very clearly. After the earthquake struck on Japan, it says, uh, all right, the, de the blah, 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 blah. After it struck, now they're trying to de I'm trying to cut this through because it's really long for you people, and it's live. There's no cue cards. It's just me. They want you to believe that they can somehow get radiation out of something. That if it's in the ground, that somehow the radiation can be taken out of the ground and it's safe for you to eat. Well, that is not the case. It can never be the case. It will be there for millions of years. Most of us have slept through this in uh, physics class, but look up what a half-life is. You don't have... Why are you taking their word that they can somehow get radiation out of things when you know they can. Look at the movie Silkwood. They knew they couldn't many years ago, friends. That's why they quite likely killed her. She was talking about people who have gotten radioactivity uh, from the, the plutonium. They used to make the fuel rods and the plutonium development. Some of the water got in his hair and they shaved his head and his hair was growing in hot. That's how dangerous this stuff is. Well, according to the Japan Times, the new rail robot failed to find the fuel on its first day of the operation on July 19th, but offered a look inside the Unit 3 reactor since it, the first look since it failed in 11. Video shows scattered debris in the factory uh, remains submerged to 20 feet underwater. Subsequent exploration of the reactor revealed on Friday that metal debris may contain the radioactive fuel. And everybody was thrilled about this, as if it was some great thing. It may have. They don't even know for sure that they've even located it. And in some of the reactors, they don't want to talk about, again, I, talk, I mentioned this, they have experienced what is called a melt-out, where the core blows into the sky. Friends, I got a few more to get to. I want to show you this real quick because what you're looking at there is the Seacrest Motel. Right there on Google, look up Seacrest Motel Sandusky. That's where you're going to be staying, and I got good news for you. It's not just where you're going to be staying, but it's where you're going to be staying a lot more cheaply because you, 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 you are going to say you heard about it on the correct views. And when you do, they're going to go ahead and give you an even better deal than you were already going to get. You know you're going to ride the top thrill dragster. You know you want to see Lake Erie. It's the 1st of August. 
best month of the year is July. That's when summer is. You still got a whole month of summer left. Well, guys, that month of summer is here. So when you go to Cedar Point, later on in the year, when you go to Hollow Weekends, make sure you remember the Seacrest Motel. And uh, tell them you heard about it on the Correct Views. Sam and Nancy. You'll find out what's happening. You're going to get a great deal. The Menachi. To get to our last three stories here. New proposal suggests removing Fukushima plants melted fuel from the fuel from side. Methods for removing melted fuel debris from reactors. Now this is assuming they, that they even know where it is. And it said that there is a method to remove melted fuel debris from the bottom of the containment vessel at Fukushima 1 power plant, which is likely the only one that still has it in, in where it's supposed to be. Uh, the second and third reactors from the side was proposed by the Nuclear Damage Decommission and De Compensation and Decommissioning Facilitation Corporation. Try saying that a number of times. Uh, Hijimu Yamana, which is easier to say, ahead of the NDF, which is tasked with considering how to remove fuel debris from the reactors for the first time, explained the organization's specific method proposed to the heads of local governments that the countermeasures for the decommissioning and handling of contaminated water. The method would focus on prioritizing the removal of debris from the bottom of the vessels from the side using robotic arms and other re remote devices while flushing water over the debris, which would cut down on some of the radio the heat, actual heat. But I don't know that the robots could, the arms would last very long. They would need to be replaced over and over again because it's so radioactive that it fries every component that man has any idea how to make. That includes anything we've ever sent to space. It says the ways to block the radiation and countermeasures against the scattering of airborne radioactive dust still remain unsolved. Don't let that be glossed over. They don't even know how to do what, get close enough to do what it is they're saying they're trying to do, but they're telling you that this is going to work. The central government of TEPCO, which is GE, which is why you should never invest in it, plan to finalize their policy to remove the debris and amend the decommission schedule in September. In all three reactors, contaminated water has collected at the bottom of the containment vessels, and the NDF has previously considered a flooding method that would fill the containment vessels completely with water to block radiation from leaking. However, measures to repair the containment vessels and prevent leakage of radioactive water would be difficult. Yeah, because they can't get near it. Who's hitting share? That's the word of the day, share. If you write share in the comment lines, prove you've been listening to the show, type in share, and then uh, send me... After I verify it, go ahead and send me your heard the word of the day. and uh, Give me an address and I'll make sure you get some free stuff. I've been doing that lately. Word of the day is share. Global research as you hit share. Fukushima, tell the Japanese government, don't share. Don't dump radioactive and nuclear waste into the ocean. We don't want it shared with us. Ten, I didn't even plan that. It was so great. Tens of thousands of lives lost. Hundreds of thousands evacuated from their homes and an environment devastated by radio, radio, radiation, and now TEPCO wants to dump hundreds of thousands of tons of radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean. I did an extensive article about this on Teddy Stick. Go, go to Teddy Stick, type in uh, Sam DeGangi, D-I-G-A-N-G-I, uh, Fukushima. You'll find it right away. Uh, TEPCO, I even had a quote from Dr. Busby in it. TEPCO is the energy giant who failed to meet the basic safety requirements that might have prevented the Fukushima Daiichi emergency generators from falling when the tsunami hit in 11. It goes without saying that the consequence of dumping more nuclear waste into the marine ecosystem could be catastrophic. Again, do you know that they've pulled nothing out of the Pacific Ocean that has not been terribly contaminated? They haven't. Do you know that they're still serving it to you? Go ahead, look up, look up, uh... Fish, Pacific Ocean. You'll see tumors on these fish that'll make your stomach turn, but you're eating them. Eating them right up. And taking all that radioactivity into your cell. They haven't... That, there's, that, there's less life in the Pacific Ocean than ever before. And yet they haven't been able to pull anything out of the Pacific Ocean that isn't contaminated. But it's not too late to stop this impeding the echo side. The Japanese government still needs to give TEPCO the green light. So, of course, they're asking people to uh, sign a petition, which you need to do. Uh, fishermen don't want it in. Again, I've, I've talked to you about what all it does, so you can certainly understand why it's important. So go ahead and look up uh, petition. 
you can see it on the screen there. Look up the petition. Sign the petition for the Japanese government not to release this into the Pacific Ocean. That means we're at the dumb deal of the day of the last story. And wouldn't you know, the dumdy of the day actually comes with some, some good news today. The idiots, you know, the uh, people that wanted to go ahead and ignore the wisdom that we have learned at Fukushima, of course, and that is that uh, uh, a, um, a t um, an earthquake can cause a meltdown, not just a tidal wave. And that's important because you hear that the earthquake and resulting tsunami caused the Fukushima disaster, but that is not true. No. What caused the Fukushima disaster, at least one of the meltdowns, would have happened regardless of the tidal wave, because the earthquake triggered the meltdown. Well, that matters, because we have earthquakes in America. Also, if you're building it near the ocean, we have the same tidal wave risk, but beyond that, a lot of these are located close to dams. Why should you give a dam? Because if you flood a power plant with a dam, or you flood a power plant with a tidal wave, you still have a flooded power plant, and you still have a Fukushima. Now, uh, the original story on this, I have it linked at the bottom, is from uh, the New York Times. So go ahead and look this up. I wrote about this for a teddy stick, and I'm going to end the dumb deal of the day with my article, but it is sourced, New York Times. It's not their article. I got facts from it. Here's what I wrote. Somehow when the General Electric owned Fukushima nuclear power plant mounted down, much of the world turned a blind eye to the fact that a quake caused one of four units to go red, not the resulting tidal wave, as I just explained. This shows that an earthquake, which America has many of, can cause a nuclear meltdown at a power station, a fact that the industry wants to be silenced as they plan a comeback. Yeah, they want to build more of these in your backyards and in your communities. And do you know that even when they're running properly, we talk about it every month, routine releases that they do when the plant's running fine give you cancer, give you heart disease, mess with your cell structure, mess with your kidneys, hurt your liver every time. There's no routine release. They lead to routine cancers, like Helen Caldicott says. Thankfully, the public is finding out I wrote the truth of things like dams creating tidal wave-like conditions near certain U.S. power plants, as well as cancer, heart disease, and a general dilapidation of health that the nuke industry brings even when not melting down. <clears throat> Due to things like this, two South Carolina utilities who get the dumb of the day said on Monday uh, that they would abandon two unfinished nuclear reactors in the state, New York Times reported today. <clears throat> These health-destroying stations <clears throat> cannot be insured due to their danger, and they were subsidized by taxpayers. Now we are finding they are. <clears throat> now we are finding out that this has all cost utilities roughly $9 billion, and that less than 40% has been built. How much gas, energy, and non-green resources, I asked, were wasted to build this great comeback? With these two units halted, only two nuclear power plants are foolishly being built in the U.S. currently, and both of them <coughs> are in Georgia. Sucks to be you guys. Beyond that, <coughs> now as I'm dying up here, I told you I miss Christelle. She's never here. Many plants are being shut down due to safety reasons or because they are now well past their overextended life. Uh, that means... When these are supposed to be shut down, they, allow, they, they give them licenses to run even longer, even though they know it's not safe for that to happen. The winners of the dumb dumb day of the day, uh, the VC Summer Nuclear Project has been having issues with regulators, as well as problems with construction. This has led to a falling apart of the whole project, it seems. This fiasco, I wrote, worsened when utility officials estimated that the reactors could not be generating electricity until 2021 and could cost as much as $25 billion. Oh, the greenies are just spending money and still not getting anywhere. You see that great big crane greenies, that one right there? Burning gas to build this reactor to poison the planet, and it's not even working. If this sounds like a massive waste of capital, as people uh, long for heating fuel most winters, in the U.S. it is. We are told, in fact, that this is more than twice the initial $11.5 billion estimate, a hallmark of the nuclear industry. And think about it. They spent all this money. They could have just given it to somebody to heat their house the conventional way and been cheaper. 
With all the misery from things like routine releases, which, as I said, is what Colin Caldercott calls routine cancers as she mocks the practice, tainted water, increased instances of heart malfunctions, and a general downgrading of the quality of life for all that live nearby, this fa failing of the industry is nothing short of a huge win for those who cherish a healthy life. Friends, that is the correct views. Thank you for listening. Good night. God bless. Hit share, hit subscribe, let other people know what you've learned. I've been talking for almost a half hour. You had to have been able to learn something, even from me. So share it. If you question me, do look up what I said before you make a dumb comment in the comment line. Otherwise, I'd love to hear from you. Please donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal so that I can get gear that doesn't suck. Good night, friends. God bless.